What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is Boatlift, an untold tale of 9-11. Now, before we get into it, I feel like we should definitely say our hearts go out to anyone still affected yeah, by it, yeah. and anyone who was affected by it uh, back then. Yeah. Now, we were only two years old, would I say? Yeah, I think we are just, yeah, you just turned two, I think. Yeah, I just yeah. turned two uh, not too long before this, so obviously we don't have any memories no. of when this happened. But we have uh, together watched quite a lot of documentaries, haven't we? Yeah, and we went, obviously when we were in New York, we went to the memorial site and the museum. Yes, which, um, which was... Which were so emotional, wasn't it? Very powerful. Yeah, uh, definitely. 100%. So we know quite a bit about it, but I know for a fact you definitely haven't seen this. No. I, I hadn't so. seen it until I did these reactions. Okay. And um, it, yeah, it definitely is an untold tale and it is very powerful. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Smash that like button, would seriously appreciate it. Not only for this kind of uh, content, because we don't want to obviously do all this kind of content constantly. Yeah, a mixture of stuff. Uh, we mix it up. So if you enjoy the, uh, the channel, hit that subscribe button, would seriously appreciate it. And uh, let's check it out. Boatlift, an untold tale of 9-11. What we got? I like that quote. Mm, 100%. I thought I was watching a movie, Towering Inferno at first. And then I looked real close, and I noticed it was the World Trade Center. I was compelled because I'm a type of person that can't stand by and watch other people suffer. That's and to me, they were suffering. They wanted to get off the island. And there was no way for them to get off the island other than the water. And I had noticed when I was watching the television, I saw a lot of you know, the ferries going up into the slips and taking people off. I says, fine, we could do the same thing. I could take people on my boat, get in there, take them where they have to go. And that's what we did. On the morning of September 11th, when the towers came down, millions of people ran for safety. Hundreds of thousands of them ran south to the water's edge. That's when they realized that Manhattan is indeed an island and that they were trapped. They were feeling helpless. And that's the worst feeling in the world. What was a person on the ground gonna do? Buildings were down. There were people laying under the rubble of the building. Firemen, civilians. My wife was there, and I turned around. I says, I've got to go do something. Just like that. And she looked at me. She says, what are you going to do, you maniac? I says, I'm going to take the Amberjack up into the city and help. She says, but what if they're attacked again? I said, I mean, that literally right there is a very good point. Like, you kind of think the panic, obviously... Which yeah, they had. They don't know what was going to happen next. I mean, they didn't exactly. expect the first one. They didn't expect the second one. I mean, anything could happen at this point in their mind. And he's going straight and to into go straight it. in, knowing that he doesn't know what's going to happen. It's, it's, it's absolutely just... amazing, and uh, oh, it's so awful as well just to see them scenes again, I isn't know, it? Yeah, every time we see it, it's like we haven't seen. It. Yeah, it's just so shocking again, yeah. isn't it? Like, how is this real? And uh, so heartbreaking and again. If you're struggling to watch this, we completely understand. Just click off a video. Uh, we hope you guys are okay and not too affected by the scenes at least. But it's a fantastic tale of how brave these guys yeah. were. He says, well, then that's something I have to live with. I says, I have to do what I have to do. I says, and nobody can stop me right now. E even if I save one person or I rescue one person, that's one person less that will suffer and die. They were trying to evacuate Manhattan because nobody knew what was going on. You know, you didn't know something else was going to happen. It was just, uh, you know, a madness on one side and, you know, and wanting to help people on the other side. They were just streaming out of the buildings. And the first mode of transportation they saw was a, a ferry boat. That's when they knew, this is how I'm getting out of here. So they didn't even care where the boat was going. There wasn't panic in New York in the, in the beginning just volume. It wasn't until the first building I imagine fell being on the boat that there was... Looking back at that, 
and just seeing all that smoke and knowing that there's people still there. Yeah, are... and you got to think as well that then people who'd got on the boat, you you may just be near there. It's just happened. You've hopped on the boat. You may have a husband. You may have kids in the schools nearby. Looking yeah. back, saying, "Yeah, I'm on the ferry. I don't know where I'm going for one, but I don't care." But where are all my family? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just uh, insane. Like, yeah. Awful, awful Can't scenes. Imagine. There wasn't panic in New York in the beginning. Just volume. So it wasn't until the first building fell that there was panic. You heard the building go down, but we're in the slip, so we can't see it. That's when we started letting go, and then all of a sudden, engulfed. You couldn't see anything. People were actually jumping into the river and swimming out of Manhattan. Boats were very nearly running them over. Wait, 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 wait. These people wanted out of Manhattan no matter any way they could. Somebody wants you to go over there. Every mode of transportation out of Manhattan was shut down. All the subways were shut. The tunnels were all closed. They closed the bridges. They closed everything immediately. Boats, usually an afterthought in most New Yorkers' minds, were for the first time in over a century the only way in or out of Lower Manhattan. process that actually had already started. There were some boats that were grabbing people, that people were lined up at the walls. On the left, on the left, on the left. It's just human nature. You see people in distress on the seawall in Manhattan begging you to pick them up. You have to, you have to pick them up. They didn't know what was going on. They seen the building getting hit with these two planes. As far as they were concerned, you know, we were being bombed. I was wondering if they were gonna come on the boat, if, if they were, had people with bombs or if they were gonna come on. We're a big orange target the in the thing middle of that harbor. You don't know who's getting on your boat. Yeah, exactly. You could be going out to help people, but you don't know who's getting on the boat, do you? You don't yeah. know. It's that whole thing you don't know what's next, isn't no. it? Because again, like like it's explaining, but we they don't actually know what had happened. No. Yeah, in retrospect we know two planes hit yeah. and so that at the time they didn't know. At the what time was all you know is like you said, feels like yeah, being bombed. So was he on foot? Was it just that one plane? Could there be on my... Like, Could there be going more people through... that are on ground that know exactly what's happened? And... Exactly. And I think every little thing just kind of escalates how powerful this message is that they're going into it to save people. And Not it... knowing if they'll come back. Exactly. Which is oh, mad. Just the balls on these guys. And I imagine there were women involved as well. We haven't seen any, but I imagine they're, they're part of it as well. Um just absolutely amazing and the fact as well it just shows the desperation when he said about they're almost running people over because they were just jumping people in people just jumping in which you could like a builder just fell down like, mm -hmm. like but just the desperation like, it's awful to see it absolutely awful my job is to keep the boat safe my passengers safe my crew safe everybody was in shock running around they didn't want to leave their families they had loved ones running around the city <laughs> One guy ran from the apron and jumped onto the boat. He grabbed onto the metal, climbed up right next to the pilot. So I'm going out there to say something. He slides down to the next deck. So the, the deck hands get him and go, what, you know, what are you doing? He goes, I'm jumping for my life. So, you know, you couldn't argue with him there. There was a small boat that was uh, at the lower tip of Manhattan. I thought the boat was gonna flip over because so many people were trying to get on. And as I looked behind, they were, they were just 10 deep. And that's kind of what gave us the idea. We decided that this has to get better organized and we better do it, and that's what we did. So we decided to make the call on the radio. All available boats. This is the United States Coast Guard board, the pilot boat in New York. Anyone want to help with the evacuation of Lower Manhattan? Report to Governor's Island. When that call came on the radio, they were coming. I was uncertain of who was going to respond. About 15, 20 minutes later, there are just boats all across the horizon. Literally. That's amazing, isn't it? Like, against adversity. Yes, we're not going to get into the debate. Oh, everyone says in the comments, America's spitting stuff like people arguing. We get that a lot in the comments, don't we? At this um, point in time, from what we can see, 
But when you come up against adversity... You, you pull together. Whoever you are, like, yeah. no matter your background, no matter what political stance you take, no matter what... doesn't matter, does it, when there's lives on the line? Exactly. It it's amazing how humanity just kind of comes together. Yeah. And it just, like I think I said in my last one, it just restores faith, like... Yeah. Yes. Just kind people. Exactly. Everyone just bands together yeah. in the time of need. It'd be yeah, like, it, it would definitely be nice if it happened on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. But at but least you know it, when you need it. It's there. Oh, 100%. It's amazing to see, yeah. isn't it? Like, absolutely amazing. A hundred targets converging on the lower part of Manhattan. When we came out of that dust cloud, tugboats, I've never seen so many tugboats all at once. And it was just a, like a fleet of tugboats headed to Manhattan. If it floated and it could get there, it got there. All different size, shapes, and form. I mean, and they were zooming across this water. Ferries, private boats, party boats. I worked on the water for 28 years. I've never seen that many boats come together at one time that fast. One radio call and it just came together just that fast. Hundreds of boats converged on the city, leaving the sun-bathed harbor behind them. Dead ahead, the unknown. That was something I won't forget. It was just low, dark, accurate black smoke. It was like there was a big chimney in Manhattan. When we pulled into Pier 11, the dust was unbelievable. And then out of nowhere, you just kept on seeing people coming. They looked like zombies coming through the fog, and you knew that they were, those were human beings. Don't leave us. Please don't leave us here. Take us. At that point, the Coast Guard said, not how many people are you allowed, how many people can you fit? Come on, guys, anybody coming? Get your ass over here now! Now! Come on! And boats started hanging, literally would take a bed sheet off a bunk and then a can of spray paint and paint their destination on. Some of these people never been in the water, never been on a boat before. Housewives, workers that do windows. We had executives. And the thing that was the best, everyone helped everyone. I want you to hold my hand. Come on board. Get inside. One at a time. Get in inside. Get inside. I saw four businessmen lifting up an old woman with a seeing eye dog, a German Shepherd, and they lifted her up like a surfboard and passed her over the handrails. When we would carry a load of people over, and there was somebody standing there that seen her husband or wife, you know, that made us feel even better, you know? Well, at least we got two back together, you know? So keep on going, you know? The guy that works at the ferry, he's a, a welder. His son was on my boat. He, he actually came up. Uh, He thanked me. We went back and forth all day long, carrying boat loads, as many as our, our boat would hold. And it was a lot of people. A lot of people. You couldn't have planned nothing to happen that fast, that quick. No training. This was just people doing what they had to do that day. You forget all about what you're supposed to do, what the teacher's school, and you say, you know what? Morally, this is the right way to go, and deep down, this is what I'm gonna do. Average people, they stepped up, and uh, when they needed to, they showed me, you know, when the American people need to come together and pull together, they will do it. I do feel a way honored that I was a part of it. It was the greatest thing I ever did with my life. The greatest day that I've ever seen in all my boating, I mean, my life on the water. The Great Boat Lift of 9-11 became the largest sea evacuation in history. Larger than the evacuation of Dunkirk in World War II, where 339,000 British and French soldiers were rescued over the course of nine days. On 9-11, nearly 500,000 civilians were rescued from Manhattan by boat. It took less than nine hours. I believe somebody has a little hero in them. You gotta look in. 
and it's in there. It'll come out and made to be. I have one theory in life. I never want to say the word I should have. If I do it and I fail. Yes, yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Never want to say the word I should have. And again, we haven't paused in ages, but I don't think it deserves it to, to no, be honest. It's such a powerful yeah. video in itself. But I do, I do just love that saying. Like, like I should have. Just do it. You Just know what I mean? It. Like, you won't regret it. Especially if it's for good. Like, one hundred percent. Fail, I tried. If I do it and I succeed, better for me. And I tell my children the same thing. Never go through life saying you should have. If you want to do something, you do it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that is the end of it. I d don't really have words other than wow. Yeah, um, just, I, I seem to say it's in all videos like this, but respect up there for 100%. every single person involved in that. Um, we, like, yeah, I said before, restores faith in humanity, doesn't it? The fact that, yes, people have issues with certain backgrounds about which is completely wrong, but when something like this does happen, everyone gets together, everything gets dropped, they get together and they save lives. Yeah, and uh, that is absolutely awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Um, definitely an untold tale as well. Um, I yeah, I've yeah, I've learned from that video. Yeah, that I didn't know before. Definitely doesn't. May, maybe it's told a bit more in the US. I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments. But definitely in the UK. On the documentaries, it's not told. Yeah, I don't know I anyone. I didn't know any of that. I don't know anyone who's heard of this. No. Um, so it's definitely one which I think needs to get out there to be honest. Definitely, with you. yeah. Uh, and more people to see it because they deserve all the recognition. Yeah. Um, which comes our way, which is absolutely awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have to smash that like button, we'd seriously appreciate that. Again, uh, we said it at the start. We hope this hasn't affected you too much. And we hope that if you was affected back then, you've managed to accept it a bit more. Yeah, um, not move on, but... Yeah, um, I was going to say that, yeah. but then I kind of stopped myself. Yeah. You're at peace a bit more. At peace, yeah, that, I think that is the word. Um, and so that, because again, it's just absolutely tragic. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one um, for something a little bit more upbeat. Have a fantastic day, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.